just taking me into the woods. I don't know where we're going. I'm scared. Hey, I'm Josh. And I'm Allison, and we're The Camera Project. Hi, I'm Allison. And I'm Jay. And this is The Camera Project. I had the good fortune earlier this week to be out in Colorado, where I met up with missing member Jay, who you may also know as the Challenge Master, where we were able to shoot some test footage with the DJI Osmo handheld gimbal and camera system out in Red Rock State Park. So we're gonna have a look at that, and Josh and I are also gonna give it a thorough walkthrough out here in the woods in New Jersey. So this is going to be a pretty simple test. I'm just going to walk up this uh, rocky sort of hill. It's a little bit rugged, but we'll just see how the gimbal and camera handles this kind of action. And Josh is going to be following with the regular camera, so I think we'll probably be able to compare what just a regular handheld camera looks like compared to the Osmo. All right, let's go. And now I'm gonna just try panning like left and right a little bit using the joystick. Really nice smooth action there as well. You can also tilt up and down while walking, which is pretty cool. And that's it, there's Josh. Put it into selfie mode. Hey, look at how good I am at walking. It's so smooth. So this gimbal is pretty much what they have in the bottom of their drones. And it allows you with a thumbstick to kind of um, turn the camera 365. Oh, well, there's me. And Are you recording this on that? Of course. <laughs> and you know, you can get up pretty much I think it goes all the way around too. Almost. So it's a 20 millimeter equivalent lens, pretty wide, but you know, not uh, GoPro wide or anything like that. And you know, it takes a little bit of getting used to. I wasn't expecting that to happen. Overall, this thing's pretty easy to use, but you know, it's not super intuitive. I didn't do what I wanted to. Sorry, this is not working. Nope, let me try that again. Oh, it is double click. I damn it. Then, come on. What the f? This is real life. <laughs> so yeah, it's not really all that easy to use. Okay, I figured it out, okay. Just based on a little bit of the experimenting I've done in maybe 15 minutes, if you keep your chest pointed at somebody, you can kind of move around them and the gimbal will stay pretty well stable around. So you double click to recenter and then if you press and hold this trigger, I can basically spin in place and it'll keep pointed in the same direction. Which takes a little bit getting used to, honestly. Because I keep trying to circle Allison and that doesn't work. But if I do it this way, it's actually pretty clever. and It really works very well. So let's see how it follows. Now we're checking it out as an A camera for a walk and talk. Uh, Josh is following to my left, and when we get further down here, he's gonna swing around the front and see how that looks and see if it's at all doable to kind of keep that camera tracked on me while we're both walking and trying not to get hit by branches and leaves. Um, and we're also gonna cut between my lapel mic here and the mic dongle sticking out of the Osmo because it does record audio, although it's not very good, and it does include a, an additional plug-in mic. Up in the foothills and like all the way into the mountains, you pretty much only see aspens and evergreens like that. But what's cool is you always see these aspens in a clump because each of these clumps, these aspen um, groves, is actually just one plant. It's one tree that shoots out roots and then pops up all over the place. So when you look out over the mountain, you'll see there's just little clumps of aspens all over the place. And the biggest living organism in the world is actually an aspen grove somewhere near Aspen, Colorado, where the beer flows like wine and the women flock like the sand. Of Capistrano. Of Capistrano. 
All right, so let's see how it does for running. I set the Osmo gimbal over to sport mode and I'm gonna see what it's like running with it. Now I have noticed a little bit of difference between pointing it straight forward and pointing it to the side. I don't know if that's just anecdotal evidence or if there actually is a difference, but I'll try both. Let's see how it goes. And now I'm gonna point it to the side and run with it that way. Let's see how that goes. It's gonna be awesome when we look at this footage and it's me just tumbling down on the bike. See how smooth that looks. Now let's take it out of selfie mode and see how it handles the transition. So that's our time with the DJI Osmo camera and gimbal system. Josh, what did you think of this? I really liked it overall. I mean, it's easy to use. It's something that's small, compact. You could put it in a bag without worrying about too much setup. You know, there have been gimbal products before, but then you have to worry about counterbalancing and how much weight does your specific lens have and things like that. This is something that you can have in a bag and in, you know, a minute or two have it ready to start recording. And the footage looks beautiful. And, you know, overall, I think it's really filling a niche for an inexpensive product that anyone can use to get stable footage. What do you think? Um, I agree. I think that's a really great point. Previously, if you wanted to have super smooth footage, um, you would have the pro potentially of having the camera of your choice and perhaps the lens of your choice and a much more um, versatile, interchangeable system. With this product, you don't have that, but it's, it's plug and play. It's like right out of the bag, ready to go. You don't have to waste too much time um, or be an expert to use it. And this is something you can use anywhere. You can use it around the house with kids, uh, sports. Um, so this is something that's just, um, you know, really minimal time commitment and is going to give you something that you probably have not been able to get before in your video footage. And it also takes stills, which is a, you know, just like a fun little thing to have. If this is the only camera you brought with you, you will be covered. Josh, what were the cons on this one? Yeah, I mean, I'd say there's a few. The Wi-Fi pairing setup's a little slow. It can, you know, take a little time to pair it to your phone. The batteries don't last forever. You know, that would be my opinion. What were your things that you think could be improved? Um, I don't know that I have any necessary improvements right out of the gate, but I did want to point out a couple of things. This is, I feel like, being marketed in the same department as action cameras and perhaps in the same category as like a GoPro. And I just wanted to point out this is not a GoPro. It has a lot in common with that style of camera, but this is not weatherproof. This is not waterproof. This is not meant to be taken in water or down a ski slope or anything like that. So it's going to be um, great for taking cool action shots within uh, a somewhat controlled environment. So that's just something that I wanted to point out. It would be really awesome if it could do that stuff not only is the um, are all the electronics I think probably vulnerable to any kind of water or moisture it this is um, the kind of subtle movement and uh, correction this is doing is the result of some pretty fragile mechanics so while it is um, great for the the average consumer I would say it is still you know um, a pretty delicate piece of machinery that needs to kind of be treated with a certain amount of care when you're using it and when you're traveling with it yeah, the other thing I would say that I forgot to mention was it uses your phone. So if you get a phone call in the middle of a recording or a text, the phone part is awesome in that you get to control all of the settings really easily from your phone. It's an easy to use interface, relatively little lag. But when you get a phone call in the middle of recording, there's a problem there and you might need an extra phone or something to be able to record with it and not worry about that. Or, you know, obviously throw it on airplane mode. Right, exactly. If you need to troubleshoot also, you won't have your phone as that resource to Google solutions. And um, additionally to the battery in the gimbal handle itself, keep an eye on your phone battery. Yes. So um, obviously iPhones don't have interchangeable batteries, but you're going to want to have a charger on hand perhaps if you're planning to be out all day and using this guy because it's using the phone battery just to display the image and also connect via Wi-Fi and so on. 
All right, so that wraps up our review of the DJI Osmo. Once again, we'd like to thank our friends over at Unique Photo who lent us the Osmo for review this time. Yeah, Unique Photo is an amazing resource for purchasing camera gear as well as knowledgeable staff about photography and camera equipment. They have two locations in New Jersey, one in Fairfield and a new location in Hoboken, which is awesome if you're um, closer to New York City, it's easy to get to and it's totally accessible by public transportation. And if you're not in the area, you can go on their website at uniquephoto.com to browse their gear and get in touch. Thanks a lot, guys. And once again, please subscribe if you like this video. Please subscribe.